Hello and welcome everyone, Richard Schneeman here. Right now we are going to discuss Active Record and the where clause. Let's jump on over to a Rails console. All right, now I am in a Rails console. I can go ahead and uh, query it. I've got a, a user table, so I can do user where ID is one. Can I go ahead and grab the first one? All of these are completely random names as well as job titles. So any relation to people living or dead is purely coincidental. Uh, so once we have one of those, we can go ahead and assign it to a variable. And we can say grab like the name, user.name. There we go. So this shouldn't be new to you. Uh, what you might not have seen previously is that uh, if we want to put in SQL directly, we can. So we can just say ID equals one. And that is uh, the exact same thing. It's going to generate the exact same query. So we can check this out to SQL. It's going to generate to SQL, select users dot star from users where ID equals one. And if we did it the other way, There we go, select users.star from users where ID equals one. So exactly the same thing. Uh, so it, it's kind of convenient that we can drop directly down to SQL. Uh, we might want to query, say, uh, products, where a price is five. And this is going to give us all of the products where our price is five. So we've got our remote tuner for five bucks, not too bad. But let's say we wanted uh, products that were greater than five. Well, we don't know how to express that inside of the Ruby syntax. So instead we can pass in a string. So here we've got the price is greater than five. That is going to be inside of our uh, SQL statement. So that grabbed quite a few more elements. So if we call dot to SQL, we can see uh, select products uh, star from products where price is greater than five. In addition to greater than, we could also do say like less than, just could do product less than five. Or if you want to do not equal, it's uh, greater than and less than. So nothing can be greater than and not less than. So anything, um, you know, basically we're saying like if the price is equal to five, then it that is not what we want. We want everything other than that. All right, uh, so that is just quickly dropping down into SQL. Now that now that we've done that, we can use some uh, you know kind of functionality that we haven't previously. Uh, one of my favorite things I like to use is the uh, a like query, and this is going to uh, j capture strings that are like what the string you provide. So let's take a look. So you can say product where name like and then we want to use the percent signs. Those are gonna be our wild card operators. So we can say auto. Oops, need to correctly escape that. There we go. So any single one of these uh, products is going to have this exact text auto in it somewhere. So uh, we could do like dot map, uh, dot name. and puts out those values. So here, you know, all of these, this one's got auto in the middle, this one has auto at the beginning. If you want to be specific about where it shows up, then you can take out one of these wildcard operators. If you say it has to show up at the very beginning, then we're going to not have a wildcard operator at the very beginning. So there you go, all of these start with auto. So let's say we wanted to grab all of the products that cost $1, $2, $3, or $4. So we're going to make an array of prices, prices, equals equals uh, one two three four and five all right so now we can use in to pull all the all the products that have a price inside of that array so we can do product dot where price in and then we are going to use this nice little construct that rails gives us this question mark construct and we are actually going to pass in our array in the next argument so prices there you go. Here we have 
all of our products in our database that have a price of one dollar two dollar three dollars or four dollars so we we don't necessarily have to put that in a variable if we want we can do two three four five six you know anything and uh and you, you can you know you can count those you can see that we have we have exactly eight items in our database that are priced two three four five or six dollars so very very convenient uh, if you wanted to, we could we could even um, iterate all over each one of these. So we could say each, and then uh, puts x dot price. And here you're going to see all of these are going to be inside of those values uh, we we gave it. Either they're going to be either two, three, four, five, or six. Notice that they're not in any sort of an order. We're just saying grab them in any kind of an order. All right, so we covered like, we covered in. Uh, we can also say n say not in, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's the opposite of this. So we want to grab all of the prices that aren't in, that are not $2, $3, $4, $5, or $6. So let's go ahead and run that right now. So quite a, quite a, bit, uh, quite a bit more. We can say uh, dot count. So, you know, that's the rest of our products, basically. So we've got not and we have in, we've got like and where we can use the hash syntax. We can also use the question mark syntax. Thank you very much for tuning in. Stick around for the next section on includes.